What's up, Hedgehog Maniacs? Sonyx17 here. Once again, I am back with more Doki Doki True Lilja Club. Which is a mod for Doki Doki Lilja Club. The last time you guys saw me play this, Natsuki confessed something seriously surreal. Still trying to wrap my head around it, to be honest. You guys know I have favoritism when it comes to Natsuki, but like I said, I'm still trying to process what had happened at that point. <sighs> I wonder, I wonder if we're gonna get any more questions about that that are gonna be answered. Because without further ado. It's time to dive in, and let's do it to it. Man, I already know about that. <sighs> anyway. It's the day of the festival. I gather the cupcakes together. I said Sayori my usual wake up dummy text. <laughs> Shortly after, she texts back five more minutes. Oh, thank you. Got to mention, I was still worried about. Sa I was a little concerned about Sayori. I did say in the last video, but I was thinking of it in my head, so. Glad that's not the case. At least, I hope that is the case. I mean, I know it's, she texts back five more bits, but. You never know. Monica. Anyway. I've had enough experience of her. Five more minutes to text to know I'm going to be waiting forever for her. I've been hoping to get her. Get, I've been hope. I have been hoping to get her help carry the cupcakes. But, but if I find that with some careful sta stacking, make sure she make sure not to smudge the icing. I can do it on my own. I text her back to let her know that I'll meet her at the festival. As I walk through the school, I see all the various clubs setting up for the festival. I pass by the anime club, which it looks like they have set up a marathon of my favorite anime. I would love to stay and watch, but I really need to deliver these cupcakes to our club group. As I enter the club room, the first thing I notice is a sweet, flowery smell filling the air. The windows have been covered by, by black paper for atmospher atmospheric effect. Manga is laying out pamphlets on each of the desks. Yuri is taking advantage of her height to hang up a colorful banner as, at the front of the room. The message on the banner says, Literature is a luxury. Fiction is a necessary. necessity. <laughs> takes one of the cupcake trays and starts arranging the cupcakes and decorative platters she, that she bought. Right, sorry. The visual effect of having them all laid out is quite stunning. I did my best not to mess up the icing on the way here. Well, they're all still rebel, so good job! I may have gotten a bit of icing on my finger, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I guess MC couldn't resist. <laughs> I hold up the icy, icy covered finger while smiling pointedly at her. You, you bet I'm trying. Basky quickly glances around to make sure no one else is seeing this. You don't like the icing off your old dang finger this time. If you insist. I lick the finger off slowly, while I maintain the unbroken eye contact with Natsuki. She seems too stunned to do anything more than, than stand there, blushing. She seems torn between wanting to yell at me and wanting to avoid drawing anyone's attention to, to us. She speaks in a harsh whisper. You're still close! And you're still fun to tease. <laughs> She tries to give me a shove while I'm for her and dodge out of the way. She 
just ed she just ends up stumbling awkwardly and making a lot of noise. towards a way to help Yui with something, but I'm pretty sure it's just an excuse to leave us alone. She had she had to have seen how red Natsuki's face had Natsuki's face had gotten. Okay, I was a little worried. I I, I was still worried about Sayuri. Decades! I don't think anyone saw Sayuri come in, but Natsuki seems to welcome the distraction. She quickly plants herself directly between Sayuri and Cupcakes. Ah oh, no! Ah oh, no, you don't! These cupcakes are for are for guests! Yeah, we worked hard at these. Don't mess them up, dummy. Type dig. Sayuri, good. Now we're all here. Look at what? I hope all you are ready to perform your bolts. Sayuri and Natsuki seem to brighten up at the prospect of showing bolts. I see Yuri shudder in response. She's standing in the doorway, hanging up some kind of carton of ribbons and paper. Surprised with this one myself. Very well then. That works fine for me. Now give me, now give me the chance to greet visitors. Speaking of which, it looks like we have our first guests at the door. Manga goes, to, Manga goes to greet them. Hi there. Come on, come in. Welcome to the lunch club. Have a cupcake. Manga introduces herself and invites people to sit down for the performance. I guess that means it's time for Natsuki to recite her poem. Good luck, Natsuki. She whispers. She whispers. Here it is, Black. And with a smile, she moves to the podium at the front of the room. As she, as she recites her poem, there was an energy in her voice that wasn't there when, when she performed it for us on Thursday. <clears throat> she becomes more animated, seemingly directed at the new people coming in. Even step away from the podium to assure cute there now poses to essentially essentially key parts of the poem. When she's done, she gives an exaggerated courtesy of response to the applause. Afterwards, she strides confidently to the audience to sit next to me. That's how girls do it! Manga, manga carries on with it, introductions and movement the performance along. My attention is occupied with Natsuki as we carry on our whispered conversation. I thought you hate. I thought you hate looking cute. Uh, well, you know. After we talked the other day, I did some thinking. Maybe being cute isn't such a bad thing after all. It's not just to prove that I'm worth more than I look. And if people see me as cute, then screw it. I'll embrace my cuteness. <laughs> that you are, Natsuki. <laughs> so, um, about what you said yesterday. Hmm? Which part? You know, about us getting together to read manga. Can I come over after the festival? I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of like to see your collection. Uh, well, I don't know if you'll be into the stuff that I'm into. Come on! You see mine! It's only fair that I see yours! We're still talking about Maga, right? <laughs> Masky elbows me hard in the ribs. Don't be false! I'm being serious! Right, yeah, sure. Me and Maga together sound like fun. Yeah! You're darn right, you'll be fun. So you better look forward to it. The rest of the festival carries on, but it's all just a blur to me. I 
find myself reflecting on that moment, and not just because of my bruised ribs. Having the chance to share it, share it something that Natsuki has never shared before, knowing that I may have brought about a positive change in someone's life is a good feeling. It's funny now, it's funny now to think that I didn't even want to be in this club at that first. I wonder what my second week would bring. Says thank you for playing True Literature Club mod. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. Hello. There was a hidden route for manga in this mod. Wait, really? All you have to do is make the other three girls like you. Restart the game and dedicate one poem to each girl. Well, make sure no one dislikes you enough. To not share their poems. If they all like you, Monica will surely take notice on your of your popularity. Good luck. What's that supposed to mean? interesting to say the least. So there is a, a route for Monica. <clears throat> but it says I have to at least when I do the poems I gotta make sure that all three girls at least like it in some way. So that basically means who, which, whichever girl I'm targeting I gotta have that one mostly and have at least the same for the other two girls. This might be interesting to say the least. But I think I'm gonna stop here though. I'll have to figure the rest of this out sometime. Sonic X17 is signing out. Catch you guys next time.